Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts and I'm so excited I got my stamp of the month from avocadoarts.com um, This one I think is probably one of my favorites but I've been a member of their stamp club for a couple of years now and um, they really put out some adorable, adorable stamps. Um, I went onto the blog avocadoarts.blogspot.com and found this really, really cute card that one of the, I think she's on the design team, made. And I thought, I want to do that card because it's really cute. So I'm sort of card lifting, but I'm using some different colors and um, a little bit different of a design. But this is the base. That's my inspiration there. So I wanted to share that with you. Alrighty. Um, I'm using uh, this paper here. I got it at Joann's. It's double-sided. And I don't know who the manufacturer is, but... Um, like I said, it's double-sided, so I'm going to be putting this here and this here. Now the card base is actually an 8.5 by 11 car, uh, card sock that I bought in Arima 500 at Staples. And if you cut it this way in half, you get a 5.5 by 4.25 A2 size card. And it's 65 pound weight, so it's pretty darn sturdy. Alright, so let's start with our layers. And my glue, 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 glue just like so. And I decided to do a flower layer and then the plain layer. And I've cut the, the floral layer um, just a quarter inch smaller, five and a quarter by four. And then I took the opposite side and cut this at five by three and three quarters. Just realized I'm putting that on the wrong side, so let's try to get that off here. Got my little baby wipe. Okay, so uh, let's put it on this side. That would be the correct way, right? All right. Look at how cute that is. All right, so we're going to put that right on top of there and adjust it so that it's even. And the glue does allow you to do that. All right, get a little sticky hands here. Now, what I did for the um, flower pot and the uh, bundle of flowers is I stamped them first. Move that away. With my um, Momento Black. And for the flowers, I did it. I'm not going to actually go through the whole cutting part of it because you guys know how to cut but this is just a scrap piece. What I did was I stamped it and then I came in with my Copic markers, uh, R20 on these, and I colored them in. And it was okay that I didn't color the entire flower because I wanted some of the white to show. And that's that. And then I brought in a darker color, which is the R22. And all I did with this is I sort of flicked the middle of the petals. Like so. Like that. And then I found this green, which matched perfectly with the paper. It's YGO3. And I kind of did a soft circle, leaving a little bit of the white paper. And then from there, I just cut around the flowers and ended up with that. So we'll set that aside. Now for the um, pot, I'm using my acrylic double-sided. I'll put this aside for now. I used, again, the black memento, stamped it on the pattern paper, and then I cut that out carefully like that. But what I did something a little different here. After I cut the pot out, I laid it on top of a piece of uh, the white cardstock, um, put a little bit of um, adhesive on it to hold it down, and I cut out a white piece behind it. It was kind of blending into the color, so with the white piece behind it, it worked out much better. All right, so then we're going to put our pop dots on. And I'm just using these here that I got with scrapbookingdailydeals.com. Yeah, let's flip the oops, flip those around. Look at I used the scrap piece. 
of a little practice. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. And I think probably just right there would be okay. And then I'm going to put a few here and there. I don't want the um, dimensional to show as it's on the card. I still have glue on my fingertips. It's making it hard to... Okay, that should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and put our little flower pot on. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room down there. That's okay. And then we'll put this on, but I'm going to put some glue on this. Peel off the back. And we're going to put that right there. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do, I want to get some of my, um, my twine from my Sew Easy. And I am going to make a little bow. And I'm going to do it the rabbit ear style. If I can do this, because I do have glue on my fingers. There's the loop, and there's the loop. So let's pull it through. Very nice. And then we'll adjust it. I want it to be small. I don't want it to overpower the little flower pot. So Great. It's just basically to um, cover up that one spot there. And I found these micro dots at uh, the craft store that we have in town. It's called Beverly's. And these are micro pop dots. And they're, sometimes they're just absolutely perfect for something like this. For, you know, a little piece of bow or a little piece of ribbon. Forgot to take the tape off. I mean the paper. Whoa. Okay, it's ready. And I'm going to cut the tails off here in a minute. Bring that down. Just, you know, to cover up that one area there where you you see the division of where the flowers in the pot are. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and let that dangle down a little bit. How cute is that? All right. Now, let's move on to the little sentiment. And again, I'm using um, Mary's Mother's Day. This is from Cards TV. And um, it is uh, stamps. Uh, you know what? I'll leave the link here on the video because uh, I'm having a blank here. Oh, here it is. Cards TV stamps .blogspot Sorry, Mary. I watch you all the time. I just had a moment. I call it a pre-senior moment. And I'm using, I am, or I'm so blessed to have you as a mom. And my dog is snoring like crazy in the background. That is so funny. I wish I were her right now. I'm going to use the flower from the Avocado Arts. And I'm going to put it down here in the corner. And I'm going to flip it around again. I'm doing the flip of the acrylic. And I'm going to put that. Hope I get this on straight. Right here. Good enough, except I do not like that ooey that just came out there. Let's try that again. I'm pushing too hard on my ink is what I'm doing. All right, so a little softer. Down in the corner with the flower. A little softer. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was pressing too hard getting all excited and everything. Push down and up. There we go. And then this is cut at, I believe, it's an inch. And then I cut the pattern paper and again at an inch and a quarter. And then it would be um, three inches long and then two and three quarters inches long. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it in, have a little tail I think they call this a ribbon tail. And use my ATG. Put 
put it a little bit on the edge there, giving it a little bit so you can see the pattern paper. Make that straight. And then I'm going to cut it off a little bit there. And make it so it's just a little bit longer than the white. All right, and let's go ahead and get our Copics. And, oops, wrong side. Like that. Now that stamp actually shows the middle as being black, so we'll leave it just like that. Put our cover on. I'm gonna pop this up as well. And I've got a big one here that I'm actually just going to cut it right in half. And put it here. And here. I like the simple but cute cards. I like making the ones with lots of embellishments as well. But I do like the simple stamp cards. They're fun. There we go. All right, let's come on over here. We'll put this guy right there. I'm going ahead and I'm putting it over on the white part of the paper. And my card is finished. Now, you definitely can put a Happy Mother's Day sentiment in there or just write something, you know, whatever you want to do like that. But that cute? Just stamping, a little bit of cutting, and you have a Mother's Day card. All right, all, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.